Universe, this is Charizard here again, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald vs. Universe for Let's Play. Sorry if I sound a little quiet this episode, I'm practically recording this at like 3 in the morning and everyone in the house is asleep, so I don't want to be too loud because I don't want to wake anyone up. That's also the reason why I'm not saying my intro, but I don't know. But regardless, in the last episode, we lost our poor Pichiana, but at the same time, we got a replacement for and Harold the Barrel. Because in this episode, we're going to be the Home of the Woods, and... Oh boy, this is the forest of the most worried about. Because if I run into a certain Pokemon first, or if I get poisoned, then someone's basically down no matter what I do. Because if I get poisoned, there's no way that I'm going to be able to get back to the Pokemon Center in time, because I can't use that place. Also, battles are going to be tougher, so... Literally the only thing I can do for experience is put someone in front of the party and switch to more aliases so you can actually do things. Thankfully there's at least four or trainers in this uh, next dungeon that I can but just in the next area in general I'll be able to get experience off of and there are honestly no more stuff this Trainer has a full restore. I don't understand why. I don't care how rich you are, you don't need a full restore to heal level 1 as level 7. First encounter is not the Pokemon that I am fearing. Hopefully it's not something in that Pokemon I don't know. Anyway, this is a trainer I want to fight. Apparently. Shouldn't be too bad, he just has four level three more for his soul. I know it's a good straight shot. If I use defense scroll, sometimes I can't really do too much. Of course, the Carol gets to the lowest point in I'm just gonna create where you did my guy with his nose. Where you know the monsters. And Jesse's not gonna be able to poison any of these monsters because she wants to prevent the end effects of any monsters. Hey, missed. Master. Harold the Grimmaster, which will become like a pretty kind of 
funny. I guess it's a nice change from just having two in the original room being sapphire, but you can still do it anyway if it adds a little less of a Right back. I switched Jesse into the front of the party, so here we have a paralyzing heal. Alright, up, oh, let's see if we run anything. Okay, it's just reportable. I can just get a little bit of this in place. Yep, that's fast. I want to say I can ignore this because I can technically end up having Jesse evolve into a Silk, but... Uh, I don't know, I probably won't end up catching anything in these woods because, quite frankly, there's nothing in here that I want to see. It's a little bulky, but... I don't know. Thankfully, it's evolving now, so we'll see what it turns into. Okay, it's a cast. That might actually be good. Well, so the coincidence actually happened. Nice. Alright, well, since... Well, since my Warple evolved to a Cascoon, and I just found a Silicon, that basically means I can't catch any more Pokemon in this area. I'm not really bummed out by it, but... Eh, kind of. Go up here. Hmm. I don't want to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? Thankfully not. I really love that Pokemon. I was going to ambush you, but you had to doll. Helbert would. I cannot talk tonight. But you had to doll of Helbert Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of winning, so here I am. You, Devin Researcher, hand over those papers. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please! Huh? What do you think you're doing? What, you're going to protect him? No one who crosses Team Marco gets any mercy. Not even a kid! Come on and battle me! Surprise encounter with the enemy team! And only has a 
But it's a pretty high level. Let's see, can I get the poison on it? I'll try to see if I can get the poison on it as soon as I get some low HP and then switch out. Yeah, this is too dangerous and it has howls, so there's no point trying to risk fighting it as just a The accuracy hacks are already starting, are you kidding me? Come on! If I lose Cornelius in this fight, I'm gonna be three times in a row! Come on! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Am I seriously about to risk losing to a grunt of all things? Sack off I kind of need all of them when I have them. Gosh, please, please, please. I keep spamming Santa Attack, I might be fine if I can eventually get hit. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to lose Cornelius due to freaking accuracy, because that would have been the stupidest thing. You're kidding me! You're tough! You're a hacker. Uh, got some nerve belling with Team Aqua. Come on, battle me again! Wish I could say that. But I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we at Team Aqua are also up for something to rust for. I'll let you go today. Whew, that was awfully close. No kidding. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. Too bad we can't use it right now. Didn't that team up with the say that after something in Rust World too? Uh oh, it's a crisis! I can't be wasting time! Do I want to go back and heal? I don't think there's any. I'll get to the forest, into the forest, and I'll just cut back to the Pokemon Center. Then I'll go to the Pokemon Center and cut back to the exit. If you take Bug Pokemon to school, you get to be instantly popular. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works in the real world, kid. Seriously, I know uh, like a lot of women who are scared of like spires and such. I know, or, I know spires are taking the rack gates and you know, insects, but people treat them that way anyway. I mean, they can crawl, they have multiple legs, they have like multiple eyes, or sort of the same kind of ish, I guess. Right, this is the next line, so I don't want to switch to more games. I mean, it's part ground, so this work will make this a bit harder. That is three criticals in one Yeah, there's a bunch of So, three crits in one episode. Harold's on a roll. I 
want to see if I can get Harold Bullets hit by the end of the episode. There's not too many threatening things I can actually Alright, I decided to just cut to the uh, cut that part out so went back to the Pokemon Center, so now we're at the end of Hellbird Woods. And since this is just another extension point to Route 104, I'm not actually going to be catching any other Pokemon because honestly, even though this is a different part, I don't think I can because it's still the same route. And I already did catch a Meryl in the last episode. And there are a lot of hidden items back here. If only I could use any Oh, uh, hi. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill your brother in the last episode. Just sort of happened. Rabbit Raccoons, I couldn't do anything about that. Please don't kill me. Let's get out of here, and... I usually tend to ignore this place, but I guess I'll go in here for now. Hello! This is a pretty pale flower shop. There's pretty flowers all over the world. Your name is? Hey, that's a nice name. Hey, would you like to learn about berries? Sure. Berries grow on trees and thrive only in soft, lonely soil. Take some berries. Be sure to plant one in loamy soil. The plants and berry will soon sprout. We'll grow into the plant, flower beautifully, and grow berries again. I hardly ever use this feature in any Pokemon game. I want to see the whole wide world filled with beautiful flowers. Berries and flowers are different, though. So, here's my question. Why would you talk to me about berries if you want to see flowers spread all over the world? Wouldn't the logical thing to be to talk about flowers, then? I mean, I guess some plants could technically flower something similar to berries. I don't know, I'm not a botanist. That's my dream. Please help me, May. Plant berries to bring more flowers to the world. Hey. Hello. The more attention you get to flowers, the more beautifully they bloom. I like to pick flowers, I'm sure, but we can have this. Here we got the whaler pail, which you need to water new plants. While berry plants are growing, water them with a whale or pail. Oh, and another thing. If you don't pick berries for a while, they'll drop off onto the ground. They'll sprout again. Isn't that awesome? It's like they have the will to live. That's not how it works. I'm trying to be like my big sisters. I like flowers too. Here you go. It's for you. That's a berry, not a flower. Get the difference right, dang it. I'm not a botanist, but I know the difference between a berry and a flower. <sighs> you can plant a berry and grow it big, or you can make a Pokemon hole. But now they have a machine that mixes some different berries and makes candies for Pokemon. I want some candy too. I think that's a feature that's only for a certain wireless device, but I never got that growing up. All, the closest thing I had was a, a game link cable, and I have several of those already. Too bad I never actually used a single one. The GBA to GameCube one is the only one I use to this day, but even then, since the old Pokemon games are played that much, or at least you get the idea. I like filling my mouth with seeds and spitting them up fast. You could have this, so you try it out. You just not a Pokemon enough to learn who firing seeds rapidly. I'm still not going to teach TMs to any Pokemon unless I roll the roulette rule that allows me to do it. I'll still teach agents if I absolutely need them, but otherwise I'm going to worry about too much. Oh, sorry, I guess. It's Jesse. Sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of yes. I am a fancy rich boy. Look at my glorious blonde hair and my blue suit. I don't know I guess I'm just bored. Because I usually don't have anything actually substantial to talk about. So I just make a random stuff. I wish I could get the blues out. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna switch out. He has another he has a full restore too, so they just be released. Oh, uh, yep, there's a crit. Thankfully Coriolis was at the hell, so there was no actual danger. And I can basically reach back where I lost. Tell, but that might actually be dangerous if this goes on. Hopefully, he won't 
a double green sheet? I don't think that's a green sheet. Not to mention, just Okay, thankfully it's not in the range room. Still, I don't understand why those two early trainers have more stores. There's absolutely no need for it. I don't care how much money you have. That is not in the range room. I guess I should have used that more stores. And I had hiding in my pockets. Don't remember what you have. Should I or should I? Okay, sure, I will about it. Okay, thankfully you. I think she has a low tad and a shroomish. So shouldn't be that much of an issue unless I get ground staff. Yeah, I mean you have some good coverage. Eh, they're grass types. Okay, and that's the one thing I... Anyway, this is the one thing I didn't like about Poison types in earlier generations. Except for maybe their defensive or hindrance use uses, they always felt so lackluster to me. Like, not even just their moves. Well, yeah, I guess it is most of their time, how they're only able to do super effective damage to grass type. I just barely ever use them because of that, and Pokemon that had a, an extra type that were already good against grass types, like Crobat, for instance. It was part flying in, so it had a type that was already good against grass types, and then just had that poison type along with it, and I just didn't feel like teaching it. I just didn't feel like teaching it any poison types because of that, like, I don't know, I guess when I was doing semi-competitive battling, it's not really competitive battling for me, but Back during Pokemon Battle Revolution, when I made those random teams, even though I know I didn't record, but when I decided to make a random team by chance, if I had a voice type that and another type that was good against grass types, I didn't bother teaching it a voice type that just hurt stat because it felt like a waste of space. So yeah, there's my whole fix on the voice types in the earlier generation. I mean, in later generations, the interaction of various types and poison types having another type that can actually do well against, I can actually see them. Like, I could see a purpose with actually having a poison type move to handle various types. And especially since they were so good. Like, they were good against dragon types, which is the best, one of the best types out there because they can handle just about any Pokemon. They can run a lot of moves, well, most of them. And they were just really really powerful for the most part. But anyway, that's my whole fix on poison types, so... I'm going to put Harold out because it's a double battle, so... We are twins, so we battle the Pokémon together! Hopefully this shouldn't be too good. Wow, we're recording for 30 minutes. It's probably not going to be as long of an episode when I get around to editing. Thankfully, not too worried since low tide level 6 doesn't have any actual moves on the end. Like, to do any major damage, all it really has is dodge. And see, I'll just have bite. I can really get around that. Like, if it starts using bite, I can just use status moves and not worry about it. Oh, Mike is doing right now. I can just abuse the loops out and it won't be able to do anything. I mean, maybe the flinch axe is kind of worrying, but cascoons aren't really known to die to physical hits that easily. I mean, it could say hey, but considering this is the context of this run, it makes more sense to say die rather than just faint because once they faint, I can't use it. If I remember right, you're slower than the C dot. Yep, you are. So yeah, it's my clothes how to use crowds. Control boys did not happen. I 
Actually, I wonder what would happen if a Castrium got poisoned before it evolved. Would it still be poisoned or would it be cured of poison? I have to wonder about that. You can see berries growing in the mummy soil in the three of the time. But make sure you plant a berry in the same spot where it's gone the best. And I'll share this with you. I believe you'll get a random berry from her each day. I'm a water Pokemon expert. Oh, uh, you don't know me. I don't know anyone in this game. And yeah, more magical groups. If I remember right, he has a sense of rule, but other than that, actually, he doesn't have a sense of rule, that's later. Honestly, after talking it over with a few people, I might actually decide to grind a little bit before each episode if I'm about to face a gym leader, but if I'm not made, if I'm not about to face any major bosses, then I won't follow. Just because I don't want to be too much. Oh wow, Cornelius actually did get a little bit, and there's Quick Attack. See, so yeah, if I decide I actually... Like, if I decide I desperately need some needs, if I desperately need levels, I probably will go off screen and grind a little bit, but I'm not gonna worry too much. Anyway, here's the next town, Rustboro City. Go ahead and heal up. And that's all for this episode. I might actually record a little bit more, if you'll know, then you'll hear me not say my intro at my normal volume. Regardless, we got pretty far. Thankfully, we didn't lose any Pokemon. Luckily, that grunt fight made me extremely nervous, but... Nevertheless, in the next episode, we'll actually explore the route past Rosboro City. So, until then, this is Merciless Charizard returning to the skies. See you later.